if my opponent tried to play the fried liver against me, which maybe not the best idea, because I love this stuff. Obviously, after d5, take the right move is knight a5. Sacrificing the pawn, or knight d4, or b5, not to take on d5. As we know from Morphe's day, knight a5 is the best, and here there's bishop b5, there's d3. You can see my fried lecture uh, video on YouTube for more in-depth about this, these positions. We're not going to go into that right now, but black has more than enough compensation for the pawn there. However, knight takes d5 is played by some characters who try and make white show that he could prove himself in the fried liver. When I was analyzing this position in, uh, in a session with Igor Zaitsev, Grandmaster Zaitsev in Moscow, he tried to convince me that it was playable for black. Obviously, this was he was convincing me this is playable for black. After queen f3, king e6, knight c3, and now knight b4. Or knight e7, but knight b4 was a complicated position. And it's very complicated here. And the old theory, I tried to work this out when I was 18. No computers, analyzing this for hours. A3, knight takes c2, king d1 was the old theory, and I couldn't find a mate. After knight takes a1, bishop d5, I analyzed king d6 fruitlessly, or king d7, I, I couldn't find a mate. I remember uh, I was analyzing it in a, just just one day when I was 18 on break and in college. I remember now. Uh, and, you know, these are the experiences, uh, no, he didn't have a low opinion, but he, these are experiences that sometimes go in in depth like this, just analyzing, get lost in the position, can, can really uh, serve you one day in the future when you need to go in depth in the position. Anyway, knight e7 is not quite as good because you can rip open the, uh, the, the king and, you know, he has c6. So this is a, you know, fry liver lecture. Now, everybody knows that Morphe... Although he he played it like Scotch Gambit, we, we got this position out of Morphe. Knight g5, and here the move is not to take, it's to do anything but take. Or you could even play knight e5 here. But Morphe got it like this, and then he got this position. And he won this famous game, which I'll just quickly review. So, you know, this knight d5. So I played d4 first. The idea is that if he takes, we have castle, and I've played this before. This is Morphe's game in a blindfold simul. Now, if he plays bishop e7, that's the Morphe game. Bishop e6, we have rookie one. Queen d7, and now we hit him with the exclam, knight takes f7. Queen f7, take. Bishop f7, illegal. King f7, check. Remember, I played this on the street once with a player. He asked me if I wanted to play, so I agreed. I didn't say who I was. I played this against him. He played this. I, I won in about three seconds playing all these moves, and I said, oh, "Thanks for the game." And he was kind of, was kind of mocked actually. I never said that I knew anything about chess. It was kind of funny. Okay, so check and uh, just a fr friendly game, and uh, and mate. Anyway, take here, take and queen takes d5, and mate, and the Morphe game again to review is bishop e7, you know, big easy, knight takes f7, This you can see this in, uh, in um, Art of the Checkmate here, and Morphe played the best move, knight c3, look at the computer, play knight c3 for like getting the rooks and everything in the game, double exclaim knight c3, not rookie one first, again you know, he allows c6, so knight c3, take, check, knight e5, bishop f4, bishop f6, and you see the rook is clear because of knight c3. Uh, and now Morphe plays bishop e5, take, 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 check. And this game had a, if he or mate, this game had a huge impact on me when he played bishop takes d5. And the idea is if queen takes d5, mate. Now, here, I've said this before, rookie 8 and Morphe announced mate in 7. He was playing blindfold, by the way, 8 games at the same time. And here he announced mate in 7. And so when I read this, I was like, wow, this is possible for, for, for somebody to do. So I was like, okay, well, this is pretty inspiring. Take, and he announced mate in seven, right? Take, okay, here, 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 here. He did that all in his head, and then his opponent asked him what happens if I play CB2, and Morphe calmly said mate in six. And people were like, uh, okay, this guy's kind of... No computers then, so you couldn't say that uh, 
couldn't say that Morby was cheating. You know, he just had to just had to take it. He just had to accept the mock that he was he was that mock. Okay, so uh, no, that was Morphy's game. Now, now Zaitsev have tried to tell me that this position can be argued playable if you take away the square knight c3. So the idea was bishop b4, c3, and then bishop e7. So now there's no knight c3. I didn't buy it though. I mean knight f7, take. It's interesting. But the problem is that even with queen e4, white is too active in this position. Or you can castle first. Obviously, you can never take because of check. So, yeah, more people went to the bathroom a lot. Yeah. You played a perfect game. I went to the bathroom a lot. Yeah. Anyway, I mean, so what? He's down a piece. Look at his king. I don't believe it. I mean, even the move b5 is, the b5 is interesting, trying to play like a counter gambit. But like the fact that we could play knight d2 and he's still getting reamed speaks volumes to the to the position. Like even this, we just take on h7, and the attack continues. It's not good. I mean, if he takes here knight f3, threatening to take. It's too, but it's it's playable. But I don't I don't uh, I don't buy it. White has a lot of. Uh, I I have a, I have a, he's unhinged. That was an unhinged mock of of. of, of the chess chess community. Okay, so uh, so I so I played d4. He played bishop e7. He didn't go for the Morphe variation. Castles with knight f7. Uh, well, you drink a lot of water. You have to go sometimes. Bishop e7. But soon they'll ban you from using the bathroom in a tournament. Totally. Maybe everyone will have to have you know their own personal bathroom. I, I don't want to think. Okay, banned. Okay, so uh, d4. Uh, bishop b7, knight f7, take, and we have this position. And of course I played knight c3. I thought maybe he should play knight takes d4, but uh, he played knight b4. Okay, knight b4, and castle. So, c6, and it just feels like a huge attack. This is a uh, lolly attack, yes, d4 is called lolly's attack, exactly. Castles, and... Rookie one, it's just, again, if he ever does this, just rookie one, and there's no, so he's just really behind in the, I mean, this position is, I mean, how can I be, be worried about this position? Rookie one, I don't think he ever, yeah, and just DE5, kind of clean game, and just, rook D1's fine, everything's winning here, so he, he, he mocked himself into a, into a corner, and we have an epic finish in this game, rook D1, many moves are winning, his king is so, splattered right here in this position b5 bishop b3 he's trying to get like c5 or something he goes rook f5 and what did i do a3 yeah a3 and and queen h7 right yeah queen h7 just like i said and everything's collapsing he can't go knight a6 because uh something happens bishop f4 or something this is too passive just develop everything morphe style Pieces come in and he's, he's finished. Yeah. So he did c5. Okay. Bishop f4 again. And now I did not have to play this 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 finishing uh, blow. Knight takes d5 and queen f5. I just did it because it's funny. But actually I could have just done this. And then there would be no lecture if I did this move. We would just be like, okay, the game's over. Rook d5. And nobody would want to walk. I mean, great. So I want a brutal game. So maybe, maybe I'm busy lecturing. I'm uh, busy lecturing. You should try listening sometime. Maybe you'll learn something. Queen e4. You should be happy that I'm lecturing. Okay. So queen e4, and uh, bishop takes d5. All right. Don't 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 drop out of the, of the chess class. Don't get banned. Okay. Okay. So knight d5. I could have just played rook d5, rook d5, and and queen e4. And one, and there'd be no lecture, but instead I had to, to mock with queen takes f5, which is hilarious. And now here we go. And I forgot, I literally forgot that he didn't have to do this. I thought I was just winning material. But uh, what do you mean? Here I'm not sacking a queen. It makes a big difference. This is completely winning for white, whereas my move is a funny mock, which leads to a beautiful queen sacrifice. Because now after king f4, it's in the style g3. And if he plays, king g4, which he did, f3, exclaim. 
King e4 is no good, I bring the rook in. If he plays king f3, I take. Take and check. So, uh, it's called art, you don't understand. Okay, king g4, and now f3. This is far more exciting. f3, if he takes, take, take, dude. Who cares about incorrect set? I do, and now you're getting banned, okay? And now, and now you're getting banned. You should focus on actually learning, you know, actually learning how to, how to play something beautiful sometimes. Because actually sometimes these are gonna be the only moves that are gonna win. And not always are you gonna have so many options. So sometimes having to play, create a position like this might actually do you some good. Okay, so don't get banned. All right, you're gonna, you're gonna stay quiet until the lecture's over. Okay, King G4, and now F3. Beautiful position, and now king h3, and now rook takes queen, which is now I'm down a whole piece, but his king is on h3. So f3, king h3, take, take, and now bishop d5. Uh, it's, it's, it's a really great, great uh, finish. Rook b8, and now it all flows. You have to have to find rook e1 with threats of rook e8 and rook h8. His king can't move, so we learn a very valuable mating net here. And what I want to say is that when the king is on h3 like this, and you're a piece down, it's likely you're winning because all it's going to take is just one check. All it's going to take is one check. And if, and if you have that one check, it's going to be mate. So if the bishop ever moves, for example, off the diagonal, it's mate. Okay, bishop here, and now rook e8. What, what, what about rook h5? No, no, this can't be a good move. Rook h5 is no good because he has bishop h4. I didn't say it, but I mean he has bishop h4 here. That's why I didn't do it. I should point out that rook h5 is the problem like defense, bishop h4, and black is okay. Take, 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 and black's king is active. And now black might be pressing for the win with an active king. So this would not be what we want. Uh, uh, this would not be what... No, no, because this is a really beautiful game and he can't... Don't talk to me right now. Don't whisper. I'm in the middle of a lecture. I'm not reading your whisper until the lecture is over. You really, you, you know, really, you, you need to, to actually be happy you got to see this game. 99.9% .9 of the people watching were very happy they got to see this game. And you just want to focus on the the obvious it's a blitz game you're not going to find every perfect move in a blitz game we're going to focus on the human factor okay but you know you you don't understand that's okay take take bishop d5 rook b8 rook e1 bishop f6 and now rook e8 exclamation I, I didn't see all this rook c8 until it was played it just happened and that's what spontaneously happened and that's why this is a really wonderful moment to play this game actually uh, rook h8, and uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm just really happy to play it. g5, and now rook takes it. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I'm gonna show this to some of my friends here. And now look at this. Don't take the rook. Play bishop e6 right to the end. And uh, and this 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 game just happened. Yes. And and it's key if bishop d4, king h1. Problematic move. King h1, not king f1, no, let him out. King h1, the final touch. King h1, and take, and then bishop takes g4. Man. So, so that, that, that's pretty, pretty cool. Okay, so uh, thank you for that. And uh, thank you for that. And uh, let's move on, okay? We, yeah. I'd ban you now, now you can talk. The lecture's over. You can talk now. You I didn't want my flow to be interrupted by the mock. Okay. That was an exciting sight. I don't get it. Why wouldn't you play the best move? It's one thing if you didn't realize it was the best during the game. Obviously I didn't realize it wasn't the best during the game. Okay, I didn't see the other thing. Of course if I saw it, I probably would have done it. It just so happened that we got to see something really beautiful and pro chess problem like study of domination which you might learn something from. But, you know, I, maybe I gotta go use the bathroom. You know? So, I, I, don't, I, don't know what to, I don't know what to tell you. But, uh, I, I, don't, I, don't know, I don't know what to tell you.
No, you can talk in the chat now. It's okay. I wouldn't intentionally draw it out in a tournament. But sometimes, sometimes, sometimes the, the, path to, the path to winning will be so narrow that... Okay, you don't understand. But the path to be winning will be so narrow that these will be the only moves for you to win. Like, let me give you an example of the path being so narrow that these will be the only moves for you to win. Can somebody pull up that game, please? Can someone pull up this game and put it in the lead chest for me? Thank you. Thank you, Museo. I don't mind a lecture train. I could do a lecture train. Museo number three. That's going up too. Can somebody put that in lead chess? Okay. So we're going to give you an example as to why sometimes this this type of uh, this type of uh, imagination is necessary. This is a game with nutsmen. I'm not going to get into the details. I sack a uh, material. Okay, we get this position. I sack knight b5. Take king h1. King takes h2. And I can't play knight d6 because queen d6 checks, so instead rook d1. And he plays h6. He plays h6. Okay. Now, there's only one move here that leads to an advantage for white. The move that you would play, because you, you don't really look for these moves, you would probably play a move, routine move, like bishop e4 or, or something, and then, you know, black would castle, and there would be no game, no game. We wouldn't study the game, nobody would care about the game. Okay. So what's the only move that's... You would play bishop h7 because you would have seen it before, but except you haven't seen it before, and now it's a different position, and you're not developing yourself because you're not developing imagination and you don't understand why that last game was beautiful and so uh, I showed this to Larry actually one after I played it and he quickly mocked as a joke and said is it Queen G6 because it's like the marshal quickly Queen G6 because if castles mate and he just quickly quickly said it in like a second that this is winning actually Taken like rook f7 is winning, but queen g6 almost works. But he has this check, queen h4, and then and then he can take and get put his king on e7. Uh, so, so you telling me that you will find this move because you know this move that doesn't make any sense to me. That's a mock. I mean, I, I could script that if I wanted to, you know, but if you want to be that literal and you want to be that computer like, I'll find this move because I've been shown this move then correct that's true but not in a different position not not in a different position okay because in a different position you wouldn't find bishop h7 because it would be a different position and you wouldn't have developed the imagination to find it not yet not how you're acting at least okay so uh you think about what i'm saying all right so instead the only move to get an advantage to stop him from from castling the only move the winning move is bishop h7. No other move gives white any advantage. Look, computer took some time, now it's easy. Bishop h7, only move. Now those who play chess for a long time are very surprised by bishop h7. Those who haven't played for that long are not that impressed by bishop h7 because they haven't played that long, so it's not a big deal because ever oh, bishop h7 looks like a routine. No, oh, it could be any other move. So actually, the weaker, if, you, if you're very inexperienced, it's not that big a deal. The more experienced you are, the bigger a deal it is. And I would say that this bishop h7 is the greatest single move that I ever played in any chess game. It would be bishop h7. Yeah. So, stops castling. I gained one USCF rating point for this game, by the way. Or was it two? I think one. Because he was 2100 and I was like 25 something. 2150. They will say, oh, it's a 2100, it doesn't count. No, I don't care. Uh, Morphe's best games, it doesn't matter. 21, it doesn't matter. I don't care. It's it's what it, it's the the beauty of the game. Bishop h7. Bishop h7. There's no defense. If he takes knight d6, king f7, king f8, knight takes f7. Exclaim. If knight f7, Morphe move rook d8, rook d8, 
Queen D8. Well, that's that's life. That's life when you're playing near 2600. You gain one point. Now, he played knight c6. I remember I showed it to Larry. He just said knight takes h6. I didn't even see knight h6. Totally winning easy mate. Instead, I saw the more mocked finish. Back rank knight e5. Morphe style knight takes c6. Because of bc6. Rook d8 is mate. However, uh, this is also mate. But I prefer, and this is another thing that you're not going to understand, Andromeda. The correct move to me is not mate in three, but the correct move to me is mate in four. That, you're going to have a hard time. Now, that's going to bother you a lot. But I'm going to do it just to mock you because the mate in four is more beautiful. And so I prefer the mate in four. But since you don't like the whole artistic thing, you know, you, you and I, we have a little problem in that, in that area of our mock training, if you'll call it that. Uh, you will not appreciate Queen D8 as much because main three is main three, main four is main four, and you would see this move if you played because you've seen Bishop H7. And what's the big deal? Here we go. You saw Rook D8 first, and that it was was main four, so there's no need to look for better. If if you want to think that, that's okay. I'm not I'm not going to get into it. Anyway, uh, so. And after bishop h7, if he plays rook a5, then only move, which I saw before playing queen e5, threatening knight d6. This was kind of the peak, maybe the peak of my calculation, I would say, back then. This was like 2009, 2010. Queen, queen e5, knight d6. Yeah. Then it's winning, yeah. threatening this. Okay, so that's an example of when the path is more narrow. When the path is more narrow, then you might have to see moves like we just saw in the in the in the blitz game. So sometimes it it could uh, no you know sometimes uh, it can teach you to find these narrow moves. The opponent was an, uh, he was studying extrasolar planets, so he said he was going to try and name the, the this planet that he found Bishop H7. I don't know if he did it or not. He said he did it. I don't know. So sounds sounds good to me. Okay. So. Uh, so, uh, no, I, I played that game. So anyway, yes, if we look at this position, if we look at this position, I didn't, you know, see that, that, this, is, that this is so easily winning. It's obviously winning, and he can resign, and that's the end of the game. But it just so happens that we get a, a, little, a little problem like finish, rook d5, because I only saw this, and I'm, I'm up exchange winning. But problem like finish. Because if he does this, I'm, I'm winning again. But then, you know, I realized he could take here, and now we have mate. If he, if he takes here, take and check. And so, and so, it's it's pretty cool, is it not? Take, take. Bishop d5, rook b8, rook, rook e1. You want to clear and not and not allow c4. And now rook e8, g5, and rook c8, all direct. So that's officially the end of that lecture. Thanks for that. And let's move on. Yeah, it is it is more it is more beautiful. It is it is more beautiful. Well, he look, he wanted to play night uh, fried liver with me, so He's mocking, so I mock back. So I mean, I'm I'm kind of pleased by it. So I was one of the best 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 finishes so far. So yeah.